So this comes to us from Fear HQ, and it has to do with the latest installment in the Evil Dead series, movies, shows. But this is Evil Dead Rise. This is set to hit theaters on April 21st, and it's going to ditch what made it great, in my opinion, the usual four setting, and move to the gory action of the city. Has, quote, two estranged sisters. A reunion is cut short when a flesh-possessing demon thrusts them into a battle of survival. Features Bruce Campbell. See this? This is my boomstick. Spending a lot of time talking about how he's not in the movie. Hey, Evil Dead fans, I have a very exciting update to share with you. I have a sneak peek of a new trailer for the next installment in the franchise, Evil Dead Rise. So what we're seeing are all the things that we loved about the original Evil Dead movie and probably the second Evil Dead movie as well. Shop smart. Shop S-smart. The problem with that is that it was all about Bruce Campbell. It was about campy humor. It was about absurdist humor, great practical effects, and it was something we hadn't seen before. Even though I'm not in this film as a producer, I'm all over this movie like a cheap suit. I guess you can say I have a hand in it. Again, Bruce Campbell's not in this film. <laughs> <clears throat> now I've seen the movie in all of its glory, and in case you're wondering, yes, it is amazing, and yes, it is the scariest one yet. Was that why we liked those movies, because they were super scary, or was it because of the humor? Because it Was it because of the crazy practical effects and how absolutely over the top it was in every way possible? So please enjoy this first look, Evil Dead Rise. So the trailer for this will be released on January 4th. Now, like a lot of movies and a lot of trailers out there, things seem to have been, in my opinion, held uh, to allow Avatar to soak up every last nickel and dime it can to make it look like a success, to put all eyes on that film. I could be wrong, but um, Evil Dead Rise is yet another case where inexplicably these things were held back. You don't look so good, Mom. So, what do we think? <laughs> and I'm doing this because there ain't much left to this trailer. This was mostly Bruce Campbell talking about the movie. Why? I'm not going to crap on Bruce Campbell, but it really was kind of to, I think, bolster the perception of this film. From what we've seen so far, does this look like what you were expecting from an Evil Dead film? <laughs> and that's it that is literally <laughs> that's literally all we get now i'm not into this sort of c tier hacker slasher remake scream 17 thing that's going on i'm really not just recycling old ips uh lesser talented people with lesser stories <sighs> evil dead rise now, Ash versus the Evil Dead had a pretty good first season. After that, not even the wonderful Bruce Campbell could save it from itself. Uh, we don't know which direction Evil Dead Rise will head from a tonal standpoint. Based upon those few seconds with that child, again, a young girl, and it's the story of two estranged sisters, this appears to be all about, yes, intersectional feminism. I wish I was wrong that's all we got on this one i of course am salty traveling c i hope you're having a good 2023 i will be talking to you soon have a good one